cowboy style. What? That's Lucian? That's the Undertaker from WWE. Hey, isn't that Powerline from a Goofy movie? Yo, I'm seeing eye to eye with this guy, bro. Hold on. <laughs> Chopper from One Piece? She's literally a reindeer. She ate the human human fruit. What is going on? I am back once again with my degenerate Twitch chat. Finally reacting to the last region we had to cover in our League of Legends skin series. Demacia! <laughs> Apparently you have to shout that, otherwise it's against some law. I don't know. Ask League fans. I'm going to be honest. This has taken a long time. One, because I've heard Lux has over a thousand skins and that kind of overwhelmed me. But two, I've been having a lot of fun checking out different game series like Apex, uh, Valorant, Genshin Impact. So it's kind of taken a backseat a little bit. It's nice to be back. I'm really excited to see some more League of Legends skins. It's good fun to do these as much as they're a pain to edit. <laughs> so let's get to it. What? Chat already trolling. Wait, Arcane had games? <laughs> Behave. We haven't even started yet. But before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to BD Frog. Dan sucks at games and J vlogging gaming. Thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Don't forget, if you want to shout at the start of the video, make sure to subscribe. You may see yourself there. You never know. Our first champ is the unshackled Silas. Look at my man. Yo, he looks like Aaron Jaeger from season four of Attack on Titan. I've never realized this until now. But he is the liberator of Demacia. He's freeing people from prison. He freed himself and he's at war with the rest of Demacia. So that's interesting. Luna Wraith. Yo, he looks epic. He kind of reminds me of like an older version of Zuko. I don't know if you've seen like the older Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. It might have actually happened in Korra. But like he got the, the hairstyle going on. He got that winged eyeliner. I respect it. Yo, he looks good actually. I love his uh his little gauntlet here as well. And we got Freljord Silas. This is Assassin's Creed. I don't know why. <laughs> We've probably seen at least 10 characters in this game. That for some reason, a lot of their skins look like they should be in Assassin's Creed. Like this, this straight up like the hood. You said Enzo Silas. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't really played Assassin's Creed like that. The only one I know is Ezio. <laughs> so that's his shackle still. Okay, that makes sense. I can see the chain coming out of it. Oh, we got Project Skin. Man, it's a while since I've seen these. Yo, he looks awesome. You know what? The the um shackles here kind of remind me of Vi. Wait, he reminds you of Sova from Valorant? Let me go back. I kind of see what you mean, actually. Anyway, back to the project skin. He's giving me Vi vibes. Is that just vibes? <laughs> but yeah, I like his uh, mechanical arms here. They look dope. He got a nice little hairstyle here going on with the gun in it. Looking like Frankie from One Piece. I don't think that actually is a gun, but what is this? All right, we got... Oh, he has a prestige project skin? Oh, he got the ponytail now. Okay, I see him. The uh, Frankie gun hair is gone, but he's got a little gold wisp going on in the front. And he's got a Scouter from Dragon Ball Z. That looks pretty dope. Also, for some reason, his shackles look like they could shoot out Beyblades. But I'm kind of digging this project skin. Like, I know they are always usually white and gold for whatever reason. But this one is vibing with me. You said, look at them abs. Chat's thirsty already. We just started. Here we go. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> All right. And then we got Battle Wolf Silas. That's it. Oh! Okay, so he's a furry here. That's really interesting, actually. The shackles are like multicolored. That's interesting. I do like the wolf theme on the um on the shackle though. That's dope. Is this new? This is a dumb question. It's at the end of the, the damn <laughs> skins list. I'm asking if it's new. What I mean is this is very freshly released. I don't think that this skin set even existed when we started doing this reaction series for the skins. So this is cool. You said his shackles look like tennis rackets. Okay, I actually see that. <laughs> you know what? I realize of how much fun I'm having. Maybe I put this off because I was also kind of scared that this is going to be the last one. Man, that makes me sad. And next up, we have the might of Demacia, Garen. Yo, he looked kind of scary. Why is his mouth so big right now? <laughs> he does look pretty epic, though. Look how big his shoulder pads are. Yo, this man is serving right now. All right, we got Sanguine. Okay, he's one of the earlier characters, so some of these are going to be recolors. His sword looks almost like a different shape, though. Look at my man hair, though. Look at his hair. Who combed that for him? He looked like a prince right now. Is he actually Demacian royalty, vaguely, from what I remember? Why is his sword giving me evil eyes here? You know what I mean? We got Desert Trooper. 
Oh, he got his, his hair combed over. Okay. <laughs> you got the gold and silver vibes looking like a prestige skin, you know? His sword's definitely an interesting shape here. You know what? They're really being creative with the sword, at least. And I feel like this is probably better than a lot of the earlier skin variations we've seen like it feels like less like recolors and i guess they're putting more effort into how the specific armor looks as well oh he's noble but not royal okay that makes sense yeah honestly garen gotta be at least seven foot right he looked massive i agree all right we got commando this means naked in england like when you go commando so i'm confused does it mean like commander why he look like he's from street fighter like this looks like guile <laughs> He still got the shoulder pads, even as a commander, though. That's kind of cool. Like how it's got like the birds on the shoulder there. That's pretty epic. I kind of like that. Again, his sword's looking nice here. He's doing that Shulk spin from Xenoblade. I respect it. But yeah, this is giving me heavy. Yeah, you're right, chat. G.I. Joe. Oh, you know what? He got pockets, though. He's got like the a utility belt like Batman. So I got to put some respect on that. And we have Dread Knight. Okay, the art for this is actually really cool. I love the uh, the these rubies. The gems that he's got everywhere in his armor. Bro, how this sword is freaking massive, dude. He's got to be strong as hell. And looking at his armor, he must have some long arms now I'm looking at him. Because his head looking mighty small there. Yeah, his shoulder pads are always massive. Like, that's a defining feature of his character for sure. He said big Superman vibes. I don't see it in the rest of him, but in his face, kind of. He said he got space marine proportions. <laughs> We got Rugged Garen. Is he not always rugged? Oh, okay. You know what? I take it back. This is Rugged Garen. I see it. He got the hair. He looking like um Prince Charming plus the beard from Shrek 2. Okay. Yo, his sword is beaten up though. Matt Mercer? Yo, he does look like Matt Mercer. Yo, he really does. That's kind of dope. All right, we got still Legion. There we go. We're getting into kind of like newer design skins here. He looks like he's forging here. Is his sword? What is that? Yeah, it kind of looks like he's forging weapons there. Almost like he's like supposed to be dwarven, which is ironic considering how huge he is. Why does man always look so fierce? Why are he always so angry? Or he kind of looks like he's asking you to brush his teeth for him because his hands are full. <laughs> All right, we got Rogue Admiral Garen. This is actually giving me heavy pirate themes. I don't think it's supposed to, but this is definitely the coolest idea they've had for his uh, shoulder pads next to the bird on the commando one i feel so ridiculous because i did not think about how this does remind me of smoker from one piece that's actually such a good point sorry we're talking about one piece so much i just love one piece man okay <laughs> all right we got warring kingdoms i've always loved the warring kingdom skins so let's see what we got i have a clear bias i was gonna love this one and i absolutely did look at the jade on the blade buzz Dude, I love the tassels everywhere, man. The belt, the gold, his hairstyle, the headpiece, like uh, the protagonist from um, Dragon Quest IV. Like, I just vibe with this one. This is my favorite skin we've seen today. All right, God King better be fire. Okay, God King is fire. He got the noble lion looking like Aslan from Narnia. Okay, I see you. Yeah, this is epic, man. The pose, man. He looks like an absolute legend. Okay. We got Demacia Vice Garen. What does that mean? Do you mean like Vice City? Like some kind of GTA? Is that what we're going with here? Is that what's happening? They really said, hey, you seen Stranger Things? <laughs> it's like Miami Vice. Okay. Bro, he looked like they ripped him right out of that Ryan Reynolds movie. What's the one with Pokimane in it? Free Guy. Thank you. Which was basically GTA. So my original point still stands. I don't know why it's also giving me X-Men vibes. Like, there's something about this. It might just be like the general era that it comes from. I don't know. All right, our next one is a Mecha Kingdom skin. And this reminds me of Bumblebee from Transformers. I mean, it's just a robot, right? So what? one thing I've noticed about Garen is Garen always seems to have like some kind of creature, like a lion beside them in these. Is that something that's representative in game? Because I'm not sure I've really come up against Garen much. Yo, it's giving me big Iron Man vibes with the flashy blue as well, though. But yeah, looks pretty dope. And of course, I totally forgot that Garen had a Battle Academia skin. Yo, this one's kind of cool. He's giving me like beefy Bakugo vibes. Like if Bakugo took like mad creatine and just did not stop working out, that's what he would look like. <laughs> His hair is like a completely different color, though. Has he been blonde in any of these other ones? I don't know. At least give me a Battle Academia side series because I've watched the hell out of that. I am very excited for this next one. <laughs> 
the Maven of Strings, Sona. Look how beautiful she looks here. Look at that. That's such a majestic screen. She's freaking awesome. Muse. Okay, I just got done watching. I say just got done. It's been weeks now. <laughs> but if you've seen Thor, Love and Thunder, she low-key looking like one of the women that were chilling by Zeus in that movie. But yeah, okay, she looks... That's kind of dope. I really want to see this skin in game. For an early one, this feels like way more creative than just a basic recolor. And this does fit Sona very well. I mean, she is a goddess, so I see it. Pentakill is her next skin? I'm shocked. So we've seen this because we watched the concert, which is on my Uncut channel. If you haven't subscribed to that, go do that and go watch it. Yeah, I mean, she looks epic. She gave me Black Widow vibes with the red hair and the, uh, the black dress. What the hell was even going on with her weapon, though? I'm so confused by that, but it looks awesome. It kind of looks like uh, like a witch doctor mask and like a crow. You know, it's giving high cue right now. All right, so we have Silent Night Sona next. I was going to say, that sounds very Christmassy, like Silent Night. Let me not sing because I'll get copyright claimed. But look at her little hat thing. That's kind of cute, actually. But she got... <laughs> Yo, she's, she's the whole side. She got the stockings and everything. That's kind of cute. But I do love this dress. It fits her very well. Awesome. He said copyright claim by who? Santa Claus. Okay, he got to pay for them gifts somehow, right? <laughs> you got to pay them elves for something. How do I say this? Good, good, good chin? Okay, that's awesome. I love her hair. This hairstyle. I love this hairstyle so much. I just freaking love Sona's hairstyles in general because she has such long hair and I guess they can do so much with that. I'm not sure if this is supposed to represent a specific instrument that I'm not familiar with. I love her red nails. This outfit is just sick. Beautiful. Did you just call her Hatsune Miku? I'm so mad. I have never processed that Sona is basically Hatsune Miku. But yeah, I get, I get the Chun-Li vibes with this one. I see you guys with that. We got Arcade Sona. Sona's got a lot of skins. Wow, is this an old Arcane? Arcade? I must said Arcane. <laughs> this looks old as hell. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. Does she not have legs here? Like, she's giving me, like, Ariel from the little mermaid vibes. Because I'm not, I'm not seeing what's going on there. But I love how her um, instrument is just, like, an arcade stick. Use the Konami code. <laughs> All right, we got DJ Sona. Oh, this is epic. I didn't expect any of this. Look at that. Yo, she got the, um, man, the equalizer. I don't know what this is called. I'm gonna call it an equalizer, like on her eyes. I need to see that move in game. That's freaking dope. Yeah, this is awesome. Even her hair here, like the green color. Uh, it's basically, yeah, her weapon's like a DJ desk. DJ desk, a DJ deck. Words are hard. I see why Sona doesn't even bother with it, to be honest. This is freaking awesome. This is easily my favorite Sona skin so far. All right, we got Sweetheart Sona. Wow. This doesn't even really look like Sona, but this is really pretty. Like beyond like the hairstyle. This is a beautiful outfit though. It's giving me vibes of... Uh... I'm gonna bring out One Piece again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you've seen Vivi's outfit in One Piece when she's first introduced as Miss Wednesday, you know what I mean about the vibes and we got odyssey sona which we've seen from the trailers that's right okay yo she looks so cool here though like her eyes i love the arc around her neck here as well it looks awesome and what is what is she making what is this, some kind of golden apple an infinity stone what is this sorry i was kind of mesmerized by it to be honest like i don't even know what to say about this one but it's pretty beautiful it hasn't beat dj sony yet though all right so we got psyops whoa she looks like a whole villain here how interesting bro she's destroying people she's actually a villain yo that fool got his glasses blown off i think it might be the hair but it's really giving me like storm from x-men kind of energy or maybe even someone like emma frost but yeah she looks epic i don't think i expected her to ever look so villainous in anything and then we got pentakill again i freaking love this one i'm a huge fan of it easily one of my favorites i love her hair here as well and we have star guardian sona which is a brand new one i saw it in the trailer already and i am in love with it like i feel like i want to learn how to play sona just for the sake of buying this skin like i freaking love this one like i mean her hair color is always really beautiful anyway but like it looks like she's also got little bunny or mouse ears like her little companion here too it's very cute and look how beautiful this is like her weapon like how it's just like the tiara of like a sailor guardian like that's freaking awesome that's such a good design we have 
the exemplar of Demacia. Is Jarvan the fourth like the head of Demacia? Or like the king? Or like it was something along those lines. We got Jarvan with the javelin. <laughs> okay, so Jarvan is the king. Okay. Alright, so how old is Jarvan as a character? We oh okay, a commando skin, so fairly old. <laughs> so I guess the Demacian characters have commando skins and it's kind of because like, you know, they're into that war like that. So I guess that would kind of make sense. This does pretty much just look like G.I. Joe though. It's a very, very different to like his original skin. So that's awesome. Again, it's not just a recolor, so that's dope. But this does look very similar to um, the Garen one we saw earlier. I mean, he ain't got the, uh, the birds on his shoulder, but he got like, is that guns? Like, what is that? And for some reason, this piece coming off his uh, crotch here, <laughs> this crotch piece, it kind of reminds me of a pattern from Legend of Zelda. All right, we got Dragon Slayer Jarvan. This looks straight out of Skyrim. It looks awesome, though. Look at the runes on his javelin. That looks really cool. I love the color of this, and it's, it's super spiky. I guess I'm a fan of the spikes here as well. I don't know how I feel about the helmet entirely. I don't know if I'm a massive fan of that. But overall, I do think this piece of armor is freaking dope, and especially the weapon. All right, so we have Dark Forge Jarvan. I don't know if I like this one all that much. I feel like this kind of feels like a weaker version of the previous one. So I don't know if I think this is cool or not. I'm a little confused on this. I think I dislike the horns because they kind of remind me of goat horns here. Although he's got a little Vaporeon going on here. You got like the little fish ears. Yeah, I don't think I'm a huge fan of this one overall in general. You guys let me know what you think of this one. It might just be me. You said this looks like Guts from Berserk. You think so? All right, we have Victorious Jarvan. This looks like the, the Garen one we saw earlier, where he kind of looks like Prince Charming. I feel like their skins are like very similar in a way, and it may just be because it's the same artist and they these all are older skins. Is this a Damasian flag? This is my first time seeing it, I think. Warring Kingdoms? All right, let's go. Oh, that's epic. This isn't one of my favorite Warring Kingdom ones, but I'm freaking in love with his horse, dude. His horse looks epic. The fiery eyes here. His spear looks cool as well. I love his headpiece. Yeah, he's looking like a true king. Yo, look at his armor. Yeah, this looks like Lu Bu. Jarvan and Garen are homies for life. Okay, so they're like the same age. They're kind of like playmates. That makes sense. Oh, Fnatic. Okay, so we had a team skin. Where are you? Is this you at the bottom? Is this Jarvan? I guess it is. I think that's supposed to be the spear down there. My man got the do-rag on. See, I'm not wearing a do-rag today, but I respect that he's representing like that. Mad shoulder pads. He definitely looks like he plays American football. Okay, he has a Dark Star skin. That's epic. Look at him. Yo, this one's awesome. Whoa, look how ethereal his crown looks here. Is his body collapsing? What's going on there, though? I mean, the Dark Star skins, we all know Dark Star don't miss. Like, these ones are all incredible. I love them. He could clip his nails for sure. I'll tell him that. Fun little fact. They tried to marry Lux off to Jarvan to protect her. I mean, it seemed like they didn't care about her using magic. So, I don't know. Did she really need to be married off? You got a nail clipper big enough? Honestly, touche. All right, so we have SSG Jarvan, more team skins. I guess he's a popular character. I didn't... What? He looked like... Why he looked like Robert Downey Jr. in the face? Is that just me? Maybe that's just me. I do like the, uh, the cloudiness of his shoulder pads here. That looks really cool. You know what? They all here give me vibes of the Waterbender tribe in Avatar The Last Airbender. You know what I mean? <laughs> like he looked like he could be one of their um one of their guards at war or like one of their men, you know? The crown does look like Empoleon from Gen 4 Pokemon. All right, and we got Hextech. Oh, his Hextech one's kind of cool. My man looked like he about to go Super Saiyan with the flash there. I feel like I need to see this one in full. I feel like a lot of it's being obscured by like a lot of flashy blue. I think overall, this one's pretty dope. This looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I feel like a lot of these could pass as Yu-Gi-Oh cards, to be honest. <laughs> All right. We got Pool Party Jarvan, the king out here partying. Oh, that's him there in the background. I remember seeing this before because this is Heimerdinger, right? The cursed Heimerdinger with abs. That boy is sleeping. He got the, the snorkels on. I don't know why, but anytime I see someone with a necklace like this, all I can think of is T'Challa. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. That Wakanda Forever trailer was freaking beautiful. I've almost cried at it multiple times. I mean, yeah, he's asleep. He looked kind of cool. I'm guessing like this inflatable version of his spear is his weapon. Or is that, is it the umbrella? Because it looks like there's an unfolded umbrella there. It's an umbrella with the spike at the top. That's his weapon, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. 
I will forever love the little Poro with sunglasses as well, by the way. Our next one is the Luna Beast skin, in which he looks freaking epic, actually. Hold on. Wait, this is really cool. Yo, he got pockets on his arms. That's how you know he means business. His javelin looks awesome, too, as well, with the gold energy going around there. And I'm guessing he's supposed to be like the ox. Unless he's supposed to be a dragon. Unclear. But yeah, he looks epic. Look at his jaw, man. Look at like an absolute chad here. <laughs> and then we got... Oh, wow. Okay. Look at the dragons coming off his shoulders. His spear looks epic. So this is the world's 2021 skins. So that came out last year. Cool. Yo, this blue chest piece here. Like the blue and the silver. Can this be the new prestige colors, please? Because I think this is like an awesome color combination. This is like the king of Demacia. That's for sure. I can absolutely see it here. Our next champion is Blade. No, I'm kidding. It's, <laughs> it's the Purifier Lucian. Look how epic he looks here, man. Yo, they should really put Lucian in Valorant. I think that would be kind of epic, actually. All right, so we got Hired Gun Lucian. Whoa. Whoa, this is cool. I didn't expect this. Oh, is this a reference to something? Yo, look at my man's dreads, man. He got the all white hair. I'm not sure if he's like, um, he's like albino here. I could be wrong there because I can't really tell how the shading's supposed to be in game versus on this splash screen. But I think he looks dope. Oh, this one's based off the Matrix. That would make sense. All right, then we got Striker Lucian, which we've seen a hundred times. There he is. We got, uh, Edgar Davids over here. <laughs> Bro, I'm mad they put Edgar Davids in the game. Apparently, like, he sued them over this, so that's kind of funny. That's so funny, man. <laughs> All right, so we got Project Lucian. Oh, hold on. This one's kind of epic. This, okay, beyond the guns, this doesn't even look like Lucian. Man, this reminds me of something else from a game I've actually seen outside of League of Legends. It kind of looks like an armor set from Elden Ring, but in the future. Also, Genji. I'm seeing the Genji vibes. Instead of swords, give him guns. That's Genji. Yo, look, the cape here or like the uh, the jacket just looks epic on this though. This does look like a fire skin. I would enjoy seeing this in game as well, I think. Heartseeker Lucian. Woo, look at my boy. He romancing him up. We see you, Lucian. Senna could not resist. Senna could not resist. He got the pinky ring. Oh man, got the bracelet on. He wearing a red jacket. Let's go. But yeah, he looks freaking dope here. I'm a big fan of this one. All right, we got High Noon Lucian. Cowboy style. What? That's Lucian? That's the Undertaker from WWE. This is the Undertaker. I've seen enough WWE to know who this is. You can't fool me by putting it behind a Lucian skin. There's just no way. I've seen you hella times at WrestleMania, my guy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tombstone whoever did this. <laughs> I can't believe they thought they'd get away with it. So we got Demacia Vice skin for Lucian. Okay. Hey, isn't that power line from a goofy movie? That's power line. Yo, I'm seeing eye to eye with this guy, bro. Hold on. <laughs> That's exactly who that is. That's crazy. I can't believe they did this. <laughs> I can't, I, I literally cannot see anything else. Genuinely, that's it. It's a wrap. I have no other commentary on it. There's nothing else I can say. I just got to move on. All right, we got Pulse Fire Lucian. I'm going to be honest, I'm still not over this whole power line thing. Yeah, he looks awesome. I love his hair here as well. I love the fur. He ain't got the boots with the fur. Wait, is he? Oh, oh, this is just like the talons from like his usual like coat that he's got trailing behind him. And I like how the, the Pulse Fire skin, it kind of looks like they got the arc reactor from Iron Man. All right, and we got prestige version as well of this. This one's pretty cool. Oh, that's so weird. Like the shoulder pads. I don't know why my head went to Hawks from My Hero Academia and how his talons fly off. And it made me wonder whether or not these could come off. It looks like they're just fully attached. But yeah, I mean, it still looks pretty cool. I think I like the gold aspect to it. But I think I probably like the original a little bit more. And we got victorious Lucian. Whoa. Oh, he got the Thanos fit on. He got the gold, the purple. He looks awesome. Look at his eyes glowing, by the way. Yo, he looks like a god. Yo, this is such an awesome fit. I'm, I'm a fan of this. I think this one's pretty damn awesome. It definitely makes him look godly, that's for sure. All right, we got Arcana Lucian. Dude, look. Okay, he got the facial hair back. He looking awesome. The crown here is guns. I love the red. Like the red and black combination is just a win. 
That's freaking awesome. Absolutely love his guns here. Yeah, sorry, this one's an epic skin. Lucian's got a lot of really amazing ones. Honestly, it's kind of hard for me to figure out what my favorite is right now among these. Our next champion is Morgana. And this is an interesting screen. They actually put them both on here. Exiled Morgana. What? She looked like an evil fairy. Yo, she's kind of epic, actually. It kind of, it kind of reminds me of like Xena warrior princess vibes, you know, with this kind of like armor and outfit. Hold on, is this her sister? Don't tell me they're both going to be in each other's skins constantly. <laughs> Sinful succulence Morgana, a succulent Chinese meal. Oh, not Gingy. Not from Shrek. She got the oven mitts on. I actually kind of vibe with this. Look at the cute little uh, sticker on her hat. Are these like little devil horns popping out there? Honestly, I kind of vibe with this. This is a really cool skin. Oh, we got Blade Mistress. Okay, no, she looks really cool here. Okay, Morgana's got six skins so far. This is an amazing outfit. The claws. You guys know I love me some claws. I love what they've done with her wings here, how they're kind of like metallic. Also, what, what is this? Is this coming out of her neck? It's kind of like a big collar, I guess. I, I think this is an awesome look for her. These are strong, solid skins to start with. You love to see it. All right, what we got for Blackthorn? Okay, this is awesome. Her hands kind of look like flowers. I'm guessing this is... I mean, black thorn, like a thorn, right? Which is kind of cool. Like, I love that design. It's very creative. The wings kind of look like dragon wings, but just more uh, foresty, if that makes sense. Ghost Bride. Who's she marrying? Oh, why does this one look a lot older than the other skins, actually? Maybe it's just the art direction they went with this, but this one looks hella old. Have her wings got faces in this? Who are these supposed to be, the bridesmaids? <laughs> I don't know who she was gonna marry, but I don't know whether to say congratulations or I'm sorry for, I don't know. The tears though, like I wanna know what the history is behind this, if there is any history. Victorious, okay. Nickelodeon shows all over again, let's go. This is a very cool one. Dude, her wings always look so gentle and like fragile, you know what I mean? Especially in this, like they look like they're made of cloth. I love her makeup here, looks awesome. The lip color, she got the elven ears. The hairstyle in here is dope as well, but I especially love the crown. And I really like how throughout these, like, she's got the, the popped color, like the thumbs. Hey, you know? <laughs> but yeah, even the armor. This is definitely one of the best skins we've seen today. All right, so we have Luna Wraith. I heard Wraith, and I just thought of Apex Legends. I've been playing that. <laughs> this is cool. So it's kind of like the Warring Kingdoms one. Wow. This is so cool. Like the little dragon, like scarf thing she's got going on. I love the jade coloring here. That looks beautiful as well. Especially in her wings. These are like the toughest her wings have looked. But I absolutely love this fit on her. Man, she has really beautiful skins. Bewitching? As if she's not been bewitching in all of these. Okay. Okay, this one looks super familiar. I feel like maybe the bewitching ones, they all have like kind of a similar theme or scheme going on. It definitely looks like she got more dragon or bat wings going on here. Kind of both, actually. I knew chat was going to say something about that. I was... <laughs> I was going to keep my mouth shut, but hey, you guys did it. You know, what am I going to do? All right, Majestic Empress. Ooh, I, what? No, no, I love her hair here. Her hair looks awesome, like that style, and then pinned back by like the, the little crown, the tiara thing. She got the super long nails with the magic flowing around. And her wings, are they like lower down on her back here? Were they always this low? This is super interesting because that looks hella different. Man, I don't know which one of these skins is my favorite for Morgana. She got really good ones. I don't know whether the League team just love Morgana and they're treating her nice, but whatever it is, just keep doing it. And then we have Coven and the Coven ones are usually fire. Oh, wow. Wow, this barely looks like her. I mean, of course you can see from like the pop collar thing. And like the wings that she's got, that is her. This feels like someone completely different. Like the hair color, the skin tone. She looked kind of pale anyway, but like... In fact, this looks like it's from a completely different game. <laughs> but the art in this is amazing. I even like the kind of like... It looks like she's got feathers popping out of her skin. Or it's kind of like Mystique from the live action X-Men movies. She turns into an owl that's interesting i want to see that i guess i could see like the owl statue in the background i should have guessed okay so she has a ton missing from the website honestly the prestige bewitching one i think is a ton better than the original bewitching one she looks so good here i love the little gems that she's got everywhere she throwing the toad somewhere what's she doing with the toad she putting in the potion <laughs> i do really love this one and then we got dawnbringer which looks epic 
I think after playing Xenoblade 3, anytime I see someone that looks like they got ice for hands, I think of uh, Nimue, I think her name was, from Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So it's giving me Nimue vibes from Xenoblade. If you have not played the Xenoblade franchise, go do that. Incredible games. I mean, we'll listen to the music right now. <laughs> Amazing dress. She looks like royalty. She looks like a goddess. I'm wondering what, like, the patterns on her face are representing here, though. Then we got Star Nemesis. This is cool. Look at the rainbow. What the hell? This is awesome. Just like a whole villain. I love her hairstyle here, though. And what's this little thing? What's this Digimon over here? She's got the, the pointy top of her dress here. That I think looks kind of cool, actually. Why is there so much rainbow in here? You know what? I just realized as well. Yeah, it does give like Star Guardian vibes, right? Is that what this is? is it, I think the Star Nemesis is supposed to be villains for the Star Guardians, I'm pretty sure. So that would make sense that she has her little companion here the same way that they do okay our next champ is the grand duelist fiora okay so she's like a sword duelist i'm gonna be honest when i saw her name on the list i did not remember who she was at all she looks awesome i love her hairstyle also back on xenoblade again there is a character called fiora so i'm gonna be thinking of her the whole time royal guard fiora okay this kind of reminds me of like weirdly poets of the caribbean she looks more like a pirate then a guard to me and i don't know if it's just like this era of clothing and like the feather on the hat you know like jack sparrow but i do really like this this uh color on her like a musketeer you know what actually you're right i see it she does kind of look like a musketeer night raven that's pretty dope she looks like a whole vampire here this armor's sick too yo i love her eye the white streak in her hair looking like a baby corella deville we see you head mistress is this from the battle academia <laughs> Hey, yo, why is that ruler so long? She's got the scarf too that matches the streak in her hair. Man, I actually really freaking love her hairstyle. She's in one cinematic video. That's probably why I don't remember her then. The, she got the stockings on. The ruler is for corporal punishment. I'm sure it is for punishment of some kind. All right, Project Fiora. This one's kind of epic. I don't know why, but here she gives me vibes of Tracer. It might be the goggle specifically, and because she's got short hair also. But this stance is awesome, man. She looks like she's about to slice somebody up the one time. Wait, what are these? Are, are these holding things, or are they like jet thrusters? Yo, you're right. It's very Metal Gear Solid. Like, Revengeance? Pool Party? How have I never seen this one? I don't recall this one at all. She got the big baton. <laughs> Wait, I'm just now realizing that ruler was her weapon in the last one. I can't believe her, so her sword was a ruler. <laughs> Damn, they are in love with her. Look at look at him right here. Yo, did he did she just smash up his stick? Aren't they like made of foam? How do you smash up foam with foam? Soaring sword. Is she gonna be a bird? Wow, that's very majestic. This again reminds me of like the Warring Kingdom skin. I don't know if it's supposed to be a part of like the same line. But the purple is very beautiful. It's a really nice change. We still got like some jade piece and like the, the headpiece here. Love the hairstyle. Love the belt too. All right, we got heart piercer. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was Jinx we saw that had one of these skins very early. It was either Jinx or Vi. I know it was one of the two sisters. But it's definitely given like Alice in Wonderland vibes. Her sword looks cool. It's like, kind of like a, a rapier. Like the fast ones. Her face, though, it looks so slender. And I love her little heart earrings, too. It's kind of cute. I'm mad I saw IG and thought of Instagram again. But no, this is a team, isn't it? I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I don't know if I'm uh, vibing with her hairstyle in this. The actual outfit looks cool, though. And the blade looking like a Halo energy sword there with the blue. All right, we got Pulse Fire. This is awesome. I love her blue hair. She looks super serious, though. I feel like throughout here... Her face has kind of like changed just a little bit. I love the shoulder pad here. She kind of looks like a royal guard of somewhere more than like a pulse fire agent or whatever. Like this gives a very different feeling than some of the other pulse fire ones I've seen. Like she looks like she belongs to a faction in an army. This is definitely one of my favorite ones though. Yo, I've missed doing this so much. I can't tell if I'm just like on the high of doing these skin reactions again. Or if like almost every skin has been really awesome. All right, we got Luna Beast. Hold on. Do all the Lunar Beast ones just have horns? Are they all supposed to be an ox? Because I kind of just assumed that they were all going to have different Zodiac variants, but apparently not. She does look really cool, though. Look at her sword here, the red or the orange, which is my favorite color, by the way. I love her sunglasses. She got sunglasses in a lot of these. She's stylish, man. I respect it. All right, so we have a prestige Lunar Beast skin, which, of course, is white and gold. <laughs> 
But I also didn't notice she had a barn on top of her head in the Lunar Beast. Was that in the last one? It was not. It's a different hairstyle. She has pink hair now. That's awesome. I love the hairstyle change. It fits her really well. In fact, the actual articles of clothing have changed too. Like before she was wearing kind of like jeans, right? But now she's wearing shorts and she got the, uh, the kind of like stockings going on. I respect that. She looks awesome. And then we also have Bewitching. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this Bewitching skin. Hold on. There we go. We got cat eyes everywhere again. Or kind of like Velkos like eyes. What the hell are these fish pumpkins? The Bewitching skins seem to have two variants. Black or kind of like the purple theme. And I think I'm more of a fan of the black theme than the purple theme. This looks all right, but this isn't one of my favorite skins of her at all. She's got the elf ears going on though, and I think that looks pretty dope. I have some very clear biases that are coming out while I'm doing these, it seems. <laughs> oh, okay. That actually makes sense. The actual pumpkin fishies are because of Nami. That would make a ton of sense there. Wait, you have a really good eye. I didn't notice that. She does actually have her hand behind her back in almost every skin. Pulse fire, she does. IG, she does. I'm guessing that's to like signify that like she can beat you with one hand. <laughs> that's pretty epic. I like that. Or it could just be a fencing thing. You're right. I think that is general fencing stance, actually. She is a duelist like a fencer, so it makes sense. It makes fence. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, all right, it's Poppy playtime. <laughs> is Keeper of the Hammer Poppy? We have a Yordle here in Demacia. Let's go. Noxus Poppy. Huh? Why she got a Noxus skin? Random. Did she defect? We see you thought. Yo, look at her red eyes, by the way. Man, she got a lot of hair. Her hair might be longer than her actual body. <laughs> all right, I respect her showering gun. It's time for Lollipop Poppy. Lollipop it. All right, this is cute. I don't know what the hell this face is in the background. I'm just going to ignore that. That's creepy as hell. Have these lollipops all got faces? In fact, does her weapon have a face on it? I don't know. But she does look really cute here. I was going to say she looks like a human and girl, and then I saw her ears. All right, chat, want me to look at old lollipoppy? I don't know what to say. Yo, she looks like Rosie and Jim. What the? And that's why those lollipops look like that? All right, we're moving on. Blacksmith Poppy. I don't need to see any more of that. Ooh, she looks kind of epic, actually. Look how serious she is. She forging with that hammer? Okay, that's pretty epic. Ragdoll Poppy. Bro, why does all of Poppy's skin look like Rosie and Jim? Did someone from England come to Riot Games and work on the Poppy skins? Like, what is going on? <laughs> Alright, so everyone else is a toy as well. We got Teemo back here as well. Is that like supposed to be Corky's plane? And Battle Regalia Poppy. Ooh, okay. That is epic. She looks awesome here. She looks like an absolute warrior worthy of Demacia. I love the little gem on like her helmet here too. Yo, she looked like she... Did she wreck all those guys? <laughs> it's funny because she's so small, but I can imagine her beating up on a bunch of guys, you know? Scarlet Hammer. If her hammer is not actually red, I'm going to be mad. Jacko? Is that you? I did not expect Buggy the Clown out here. No, she looks like one of like the dark magician archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh with that kind of helmet. It's weird you can't see her face. I love the color of this, but I'm not really entirely sure if I'm vibing with the design. I feel like there was another character like this. It might have been Lulu that looked like a dark magician archetype as well. This skin reminds you of Shovel Knight. I kind of see what you mean in a way. And she got Star Guardian skin. Do I remember Star Guardian Poppy? I do not remember her having a Star Guardian skin. I've not seen all the skins, but I don't remember her from the cinematic. So this is cool. Yep, very Sailor Moon, just like it should be. Even like the hammer, the pattern on it, all the stars, adorable. Dude, I think the Star Guardians is such an awesome concept. She was in the cinematic. I don't remember her at all. <laughs> it's been a long time, to be fair. All right, we got Snowthorn Poppy. Chopper from One Piece? She's literally a reindeer. She ate the human human fruit. What is going on? Look at the poros. Oh, that's so adorable. It's cool that she got like a little Christmas skin. I really like the uh, end of her weapon here as well. It looks really cool. It would have been even more awesome if they made this like a snow globe. It could actually be a snow globe already, but yeah. Okay, that's my new head cannon. Then we got Hextech Poppy. Damn, why she looks so serious? Got a little Hextech orb going on there. Has that got like a Hextech gadget inside it? What's going on with that? But yeah, very steampunk. I think it looks awesome. 
she got the little goggles going on so can she even pull the goggles down i don't think so because that would cover her mouth and then she couldn't breathe like <laughs> i don't think this is very functional unless these come down past the mask thing maybe it does maybe that's what it is she can pull the thing on top of the mask further down it's a hex tech void link wait what is that oh oh it's one of malzahar's void okay now i understand so this is one of malzahar's void links from their hex tech skin random why is poppy holding that right now all right we got astronaut poppy you in space right now there we go there they are they're back the little pikmin are here what are you destroying poppy because isn't, isn't she supposed to be like one of the oldest in demacia like she's been a part of them for a while this is cute though like her little astronaut outfit it fits her i would play a poppy space adventure game probably oh the poppy skin was actually teasing the malzahar skin that's why she's holding the voidling that makes a ton of sense now okay so the last one is the bewitching skin and she's in the purple gang i respect that it looks good on her she looks really cute i would probably adopt her to be honest how come they have like these little green eyes on everything is it supposed to be cat ears cat ears cat eyes <laughs> Or is it supposed to be like a Velcos reference? I'm really unsure. I do really like her little pumpkin thing she got there. Like, what is going on with this? Is this... Where's her hammer even? Why can't I figure out where her hammer is in this image? Is it just a giant pumpkin? Is Oh, it's what she's sitting on. Okay, it's like the giant pumpkin thing. And then the stem. And then like her uh, broom is also her hammer. That's actually a really cool design. I like that. They did an awesome job with that. All right, our next hero... Yes, I'm in different clothes because this is a different day and I almost forgot who we were on. The Righteous Kale, who is Morgana's sister, right? At least they're counterparts. So we got Silver Kale, which is kind of epic, actually. I'm kind of feeling that. I like her sword. Like the heavenly golden glow underneath the wings is really cool, too. I don't know why. She kind of reminds me of a character from Fate here. But like the armor kind of flows like a dress and I kind of love that. Viridian Kale? Like viridian forest from pokemon i guess it's supposed to be like that because she's very like soft and elvish and like she belongs in a forest so makes sense wait this is an unavailable skin so you can't get this anymore that sucks she looks awesome like the emerald on the uh on the shoulder pads i freaking love that wow this is a really beautiful skin like even just the whole armor set is freaking dope and we got transcended kale this one's epic where's she transcending from hell <laughs> <laughs> her eyes on fire look epic i love her white hair her wings look really cool here too they almost kind of look more like her morgana's wings for some reason here i actually love every outfit they've given her so far maybe i just like her overall general like design language i don't know if she hits max level she melts everyone you mean in this skin we got battleborn kale i think we saw this one because we saw this in the skin with uh morgana earlier we got judgment kale okay she got the libra scale <laughs> i am a libra by the way so i had to i had to do that yeah what's going on with this helmet that's interesting i can't tell if this is like a, supposed to be like a bird it kind of looks like a bird with horns wait is that an angel on that side i'm guessing it's like an angel and then a devil on this side and then it's kind of like judgment it's like johnny bravo and he's got an angel and a devil on each side i kind of like it <laughs> and we got aether wing her wings are just it kind of looks like Hextech, actually. They're just mechanical. That's kind of awesome. Got the glowing forehead. We see you. Skincare. Tell me what it is, Kale. Her hair looks kind of shorter here, which I kind of vibe with. Her suit is kind of reminding me of Iron Man. I don't know how many times I've said that reacting to these League of Legends. Okay, thank God. Someone in chat just said Iron Man suit too. It's not just me. Because I was going to say, I think I've said this a hundred times reacting to League of Legends skins, but straight up, like the actual armor from the neck down kind of does look like Iron Man in a way. We got Riot KO, was in like the Riot Squad? Yep, yep, there she is. She's a part of it. She's flying up in the air. The wings look freaking sick, dude. Like the black and red. I vibe with that. Beats by Dre. We got Beats by Dre KO <laughs> with the black and red. I love how she got her hair in the ponytail, looking all slick. She definitely looks like a um a spy. It's awesome. Lloyd Forger over here from Spy Family. Iron Inquisitor. I'm pretty sure we've seen this one because we saw this along with um, these two other skins that we've seen too. It's interesting. Definitely uh, Jean Iron Maiden vibes. That's of course, we have Pentakill Kale because she was involved in the concert too, which is freaking dope. 
go and watch that on my own cat channel yo she looks sick i actually think i like her design more seeing it like in 2d dude the microphone at the end of her sword is so good <laughs> and her wings are literally so metal then we got psyops yo she looks epic here actually dude i love how the her wings what did i just say i love how her wings change from being like robotic to back being like feathery here she looks dope look how long her hair is all braided up she looks like lara croft from the future with wings you know what i mean <laughs> but yeah i'm heavy vibing with this one her sword almost looks like a gun actually all right we got dragon slayer kale poor heimerdinger he's just trying to protect these poor babies and everyone's slaying them her horns are freaking dope why she got like 50 horns i'm also love like the glove like it kind of looks like natsu from fairy tale where like the dragon scales and the fire combined are just like i don't know it looks kind of epic and then the, the uh the kind of like design colors flow into her sword and the horns i love that i don't know if i'm feeling this like actual dress as much as like the other armor that she's had before but still pretty dope looks like i was wrong because this is the uh pentakill lost chapter kale dude what is this i thought that her whole body was armored up actually but now i'm looking at her midriff it looks like there's like jewelry underneath it and this is cut off dude her eyes are blue she looks like she's gonna be like blue cyclops and she's gonna laser beam you that's kind of awesome i just freaking love olaf dude <laughs> yo her wings almost look like a bird actually that's interesting i feel like there's a lot of i mean i guess she has wings so having bird imagery makes sense and we got sun eater kale Ooh, she looks very elven she got them pointy ears going on and i guess this is up against uh morgana right here that would make sense that's actually kind of dope look at her wings like they're on fire but it also looks like she's got eyes in them a fiery hair all right man i'm not gonna lie kale might have some of the coolest and some of my most favorite skins so far in all of the characters not just in demacia oh it's because it's atrox okay our next champ this is a really big bird our next is demacia's wings we got quinn <laughs> Yo, Quinn looks kind of dope, actually. Why do I feel like I've not seen Quinn at all or barely ever? Phoenix Quinn? All right, come on. That's an obvious one. That's got to be fire. Sounded like a bad pun. Okay, it's pretty dope. She looks really anime here with the red hair. Okay, Urza Scarlet. This bird looking hella Dynasty Warriors right now, but also Brazilian Festival at the same time. You know what I mean? Kind of hard to explain, but that's the vibes I'm getting from this. Wode Scout? Ooh, you're really cool. You are really cool. What kind of bird is this, actually? Like it kind of looks like an owl, a frost owl. Did I just make up an animal? I don't know. Like the almost like barbaric look with like this kind of like armor is freaking dope. The bird's name is Vala. Every single version of the bird, even like this uh, owl looking one. It is an owl. Okay, thank God. I know my birds. Oh no, chat's thirsty again. <laughs> yeah, you know what's interesting actually? Kind of a Vastayan look here. Corsair, like the brand? What? Why are you called Corsair? This is just the pirate one. Yeah, she looks kind of cool up here, though. I guess, like, she uh, goes up to the top of the ship and looks out. I like her claws. They're pretty cool, like the golden claws going on here. And she got the eye patch. <laughs> Doing my best not to make the One Piece reference. I still said One Piece. Corsairs are pirates? Is that why the Corsair logo is a flag? Or oh, damn. <laughs> my mind is blown. All right, we got Heartseeker Quinn. Ooh, this is very cute. I love the purple hair. I do really like all the hearts on the heart seeker skin. Uh, now I'm saying that. That's an obvious thing to say, but like, oh, look at her little wings too. It's really cute. And her bird, her bird looks like a Pokemon here. Got the little pink mohawk going on. <laughs> she got Pidgeotto. <laughs> all right, we got Warden Quinn. Ooh, why does this remind me of Kale and Morgana for? out here looking like a greek god skin look at her bird all ethereal and blue it's weird because you can't see her face but she looks extremely mythical here you know what i mean and her actual weapon looks dope like the bird pattern on it that's really cool actually all right star guardian i love me some star guardians show me something nice okay it's pretty cool i still feel like sona's star guardian skin is my favorite one she looked more like tuxedo mask though because she got the mask on like quite literally but yeah this is this is a really pretty skin i'm vibing with it I do think I like the Heartseeker one the most out of these, though. Is that true? Maybe? And the next champion is the Half Dragon, which is kind of dope. I know I just referenced Natsu from Fairy Tower, but we have a Half Dragon in here. Let's go, Shyvana. Shyvana actually looking kind of cool. Look at that headpiece. Iron scale? Huh? Why does she look so human? I like the uh, the kind of like dragon um, knuckle dusters. 
she got going on here though that's really cool why is there a dragon in the back can we summon a dragon is a dragon a part of uh oh it's shivana i don't know youtube comments will correct me too at some point so <laughs> all right we got bone claw hold on is this wolf i was about to joke is it wolverine it's literally wolverine like with the butt this song is all right hold on oh she turns into a dragon that's why there's a dragon in the back so she's always gonna turn into whatever this is that's pretty dope honestly she kind of looks like she's from monster hunter here is anyone else seeing that like she killed a monster and now she's like sporting wait 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 the headpiece being the hair is actually sick <laughs> i really like that mononoke i see what you're saying it's the makeup right yeah it's like how nidalee turns into a cat that's cool all right we got dark flame shivana Ooh, look at the horns okay a raging bull over here or is it still a type of dragon yo i love the way her hair looks like a long tail that's really cool dude the wolverine vibes are just too strong here anyway she's super metal look at them spikes man you know i like me some shoulder pads <laughs> ice drake we ain't talk about drake the rapper obviously this is like an ice dragon yo that's kind of cool like it kind of looks like the head of a dragon down here similar to the dragon she becomes like on each arm that's really dope and her helmet looks awesome too actually championship shivana whoa this is this just looks like someone else did she turn into a t-rex <laughs> that's so random yo she is armored up no wonder she a champion that makes sense she's actually protecting herself i do actually really like the helmet here too but the blue eyes are kind of scaring me blonde kind of fits her in a way but i feel like the previous styles fit her better but the dragon she becomes in the back does look really dope it looks like um one of the power rangers megazords all right super galaxy we got our mario vibes out here what we got this does not look like rosalina but i'll take it what does she become what is that is that like a space dragon we rayquaza from pokemon out here this is a really interesting design it's really it's really like video gamey it does remind me of the arcade skin line i don't know if it's supposed to be a part of that or something separate i do think the super galaxy line is something different if i recall this should look kind of dope but this isn't my favorite one by any means i do like the variation of colors though like the green to the pink it's like an interesting mix and speaking of green we got ruined which i'm guessing is going to be like the greeny color they usually are Ooh, okay this is really cool yo she looks awesome of course you got the little va go like a uh, symbol above her head she got the green eyes i love her horns here they look awesome i feel i feel like this is my favorite horn variation we've seen on her man the glowing green claws are pretty sick actually when she puts her hands together she looks wait i didn't think about that it looks like a dragon head that's actually really cool and our next champ the night hunter Vane. okay so are you blade like i'm pretty sure we saw her in like the ruination trailer it could have been another one it's been almost a year at this point kind of wild but yeah vindicator oh you're right she is bayonetta what does i don't know what a vindicator means but she looked kind of cool i'm vibing with this one this feels so unique like this character design like her face yo this looks so good you guys have never seen this art before maybe they made a new one yo that's pretty sick you know what if you guys are saying that she's basically bayonetta these are gonna be some good skins <laughs> i'm digging the purple though and she popping the collar like the fonz hey we see you vain aristocrat very interesting one okay corella deville we see you I have nothing to say but Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. Yeah, okay. I can see that these are definitely the older ones. I didn't realize she was a super old character. We got Dragon Slayer. Why does she look like she should be in Mortal Kombat here? I kind of like the blue dragon over her face though. But she really, really looks like she should be in Mortal Kombat. Finish him. <laughs> the little arrow thing's cool though. I love that. You said she's racist female Batman? We're gonna look at the next skin. She got a Heartseeker one. Damn, the Heartseeker skins really are older than I thought, actually. Is that Dr. Mundo? <laughs> Wait, no, I've literally seen this character before. That's so sad. He gave her a card and she's reading it, but like, did she kill him for that? I'm confused. I do really like her hairstyle here, though, and the glasses. She got the little, um, the Pippi long stockings on. She's anti anything not human. I see, so that's why she's racist. That's why she killed Dr. Mundo? that's cold bro all right she has a team skin here all right we've seen this one like a thousand times but i never processed it was her i was gonna say she got the sunglasses on but so does everyone in this skin so <laughs> arc light all right what we got Ooh, okay this is very like godly i was gonna say royal but i think it's a step beyond that her eyes are glowing she's got like the pattern on her head 
In the back, I don't know why that kind of looks like the, the Halo Energy Sword right there. Soul Sealer is green. Is this like... This almost feels like it's a Ruination reference. I love her little spear here. Wait, is she just shooting out green energy arrows with this? Because that's awesome, actually. Green is just undead. Thank you. Got it. So this is for a Halloween event. That's awesome. She has a project skin. Man, I'm going to be honest. I know we've spoken about this a lot throughout this whole skin series. I honestly didn't really care too much for the project skins because they're all samey. But this one it actually looks dope. Again, why do they keep giving her the Halo Energy Sword? What's going on? I kind of like it, though. But I really love her, um, her helmet here. How You can see her face for it. It's dope. And her hairstyle is awesome. Yeah, the project skins are pretty Tron in general. Yeah, this is easily on the on the uh, higher side of the project skins for me. Without a doubt. Firecracker? She got cute little piggies. The year of the pig. She got the pig archer on her. <laughs> the pig just shooting arrows out its mouth. Yo, this is awesome. I really love this. Her hair looks like one of the Asakuras from Shaman King. I'm gonna be honest. But like, dude, this is... Yo, look at the outfit though. Look at the fit. The tattoo, the nice little golden tattoo. No, this is awesome. Yeah, Jinx in the background trying to steal the fire. <laughs> trying to steal the fireworks. That's funny. Yo, this is my favorite skin for Vayne so far. She has a prestige version of it. Ooh, okay. We got the white hair now. That's actually dope. I think I like the original one more still. But this one is still really cool. The hairstyle reminds you of Jin Yan. You saw what I'm out from in this one? I'm seeing it. All right. We got Spirit Blossom. This is going to be beautiful. I can tell. Okay, actually, more cool than beautiful, but I'll take it. She's got the daredevil vibes going on, eyes covered, the elven ears. I really like the bow that she has here too. That's really cool. Not like the bow as in bow and arrow, but the bow in her hair. Why? English is a weird language, man. Like, why do two words mean the same thing? Like, <laughs> FPX? Is this a team? Oh, it's this Power Rangers one. Where is she then? I guess this is here. She got the little pew, little Beyblade launcher from her wrist going on still. Okay. Yeah, these ones all look very much the same to me. Or like very similar. They got the X in their chest. It's a vibe. I don't know if it's my vibe, but it's pretty dope. This is it. Sentinel Vein. This is the one. And she just hella looks like Bayonetta in Bayonetta 3, I think it is. With the uh, the short haircut here. She got the glasses going on all round. And she looks so cool. She has some really good skins. Damasi got some fire skins. I agree. The glasses are amazing. Look at them. You said it's giving you tracer vibes? Don't say that. League fans will come for you. Don't say she looks like Tracer. She do look like Tracer though. <laughs> she does look like Tracer. How did I not see that? Battle Bat. Oh, this is from the um the ones where they're different animals, right? They were like cats and stuff. So I'm guessing this is like her in a little kitten form. Although it says bat. Wait, she actually has the Batman logo on her glasses. The Batman logo. I'm feeling this pink vibe though. She's looking awesome. Yo, she's actually straight up just Batman here. You said Espeon from Pokemon? I kind of see that. I think it's like the kitten vibes plus the, the pink and purple. And the next champ is... I don't think... I do not remember this character at all. Jin Zhao. I hope I pronounced that right. He looks Dynasty Warriors as hell, but he looks so cool. Commando Jin Zhao? Why he look like... He got glasses on? He got the green armor? This is obviously a very old skin, but damn. Look at my man with the long hair. Oh my god. Why his horse look like he about to kill me? I'm more scared of the horse than his spear. That's actually kind of terrifying. He hasn't been in any cinematics. That explains why he's super unfamiliar to me. Imperial Jin Zhao. I'm gonna be honest here. He looks extremely generic. The red armor's kind of cool. I gave him a mustache too. Why he looks so much older? All right, Viscero, what you got going on? Oh, okay. In the Spartan days? With Planet Hulk over here? Why he look like he's stabbing a friend from work? <laughs> this is my favorite one so far. I'm looking forward to seeing his more newer skins because I think the old ones aren't doing him justice. Winged Hussar? All right, I mean, he got wings. He looking super thick though. Why he looks so buff? This is Jin Zhao when he went to the gym and his horse for some reason is a Pegasus. This is probably based on something I'm totally ignorant on. If anyone knows any lore behind these that I'm ignorant on, please do let me know. I would love to know. Jim Zhao. <laughs> Yo, that's a goated comment. Warring Kingdoms. I'm going to be honest. I was looking at him like, oh, he looks kind of cool. And then I saw his horse. And why his horse look like that? I feel bad because I feel like I'm just dissing this guy's skins. But I'm, he's such a cool character in the original Splash Art. That I was hoping he'd have much better skins. I'll be honest though. His shoulder pad here looks freaking dope. Wait, winged hussars were Polish cavalry whose armor sometimes have metal wings. So that's what it's about. 
Good to know. Thank you. We've been educated. Secret agent with James Bond? We're literally James Bond. You ever, you guys ever seen the, the Jackie Chan movie, The Tuxedo? <laughs> Looks like Men in Black. Honestly, I see that. You're right. Dragon Slayer. Okay, that's pretty cool. Very uh, reminiscent to me of Daedric armor from Skyrim because of the black and red. Why he breathing fire from his eyeballs though? That's interesting. Yeah, this is a really cool skin though. Definitely one of the cooler ones we've seen from him. Cosmic Defender with Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, okay. It's just a cosmic skin. I mean, it does look cool, but I don't know if this one's entirely my vibe. I do like the colors though. All right, we got Marauder Jin Zhao now. This one kind of just feels like an alternate version of the Dragon Slayer one in some ways. Like those ones feel super similar. I feel like he's been done a little bit dirty with the skins. Like he hasn't had like a ton of really awesome and special ones. Some of the cool ones look kind of repetitive. Like he actually looks like a, an NPC that you would take down in a JRPG, you know? Undyne from Undertale? You know what? I take it back. I see the Undyne vibes a little bit. And we got Firecracker. All right, I see you. You're looking kind of handsome here. You got the white hair. His spear looks dope too. Giving the little girl a ticket. Oh, is that Annie actually? Dude, I love when they give him the shoulder pads that have cool animals on it. That's when he's at his coolest to me. And his little crown here is also dope. That's kind of cool. I like when they do that and they have random characters in the back. Our next character is the Colossus. That's a good title of the creator song, by the way. Galio. I remembered him looking more like a structure than an actual thing, but this boy is massive. He looked like the Iron Giant and Pete's Dragon had a baby. That's kind of wild. Enchanted, I love that movie. AD, Amy Adams slayed in it. Oh, he's quite literally enchanted. It's like just like ruins that have been enchanted by a spirit. His face looks kind of menacing here. It actually kind of looks like a skull. He's 30 foot tall. I really like this one. I like all the colors, the green, the brown, and the blue. It kind of works. Golurk from Pokemon. I see it actually. You got a Hextech version. That's not what I expected at all. This is interesting. Why does he look like a Power Rangers villain? I'm so used to Hextech being like blue all around that this, this has thrown me. And we got Commando skin for him too. This just looks like one of the Transformers from Michael Bay's movie. You got headphones on. His like a uh, visor looks like he's wearing sunglasses. That's actually really cool. I like that. Gatekeeper. What kind of demon? Okay, so is he like the devil? So from what I'm getting there is he's passing people onto the underworld or something. Why my man look like he belongs in Foster's home for imaginary friends? You guys know Eduardo from Foster's? <laughs> Bro, it's like if Eduardo became like a big devil. He has a debonair skin? All right, this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous now. First of all, why is he making potions? Second of all, he got that beard. But also he's a robot still? Like what's going on? Who gave my man a trim? Did he, does he need haircuts or is this just like built into what is going on? I'm going to be honest though. This is kind of cool. He's also doing the coin trick. I like that in his fingers. What am I looking at? I kind of really like it. He got that good beard. <laughs> Birdio. I just thought Birdo from Mario. Okay. So he's, he's a KFC mascot is what's going on. Cause we got, we got pizza. We got pizza deliverer over here. This man looked like he about to eat the chicken on the job. I would do the same thing, to be honest, because that looked delicious. He deserved it. Look, he wearing this whole outfit and everything. If I saw this in game and it killed me, I'll be so embarrassed. <laughs> All right, we got Infernal Galio near. I almost said Gladio. What is this? Fi uh, Final Fantasy 15? Bro, I almost couldn't find him. He's in the back here. Okay. Everything is on fire, so it was hard to make out what's going on. I mean, he just a big fire giant. It looks cool. He looks like a Bionicle, straight up. <laughs> then we got Dragon Guardian Galio here. What the hell? What? I didn't expect an eagle looking guy. That's interesting. Like, that's what I was saying about his skins being so diverse. It's like how different he looks in all of these is wild. Our next champ is the wife of Lucian. Look how cool she is, man. The Redeemer Senna. I freaking love Senna's hair. True damage center to boot. Oh, let's go. A good one to start with. You love to see it. She's freaking dope. I love her true damage fit. Like, what even? Is this a scarf? What can I even call this? It looks like the wraps that boxers wrap their hand in. I love the trousers here. Yes, in America, I know you call them pants, but to us, that's underwear, so I'm not doing it. She, is, she looks dope. I love this one. And she has a prestige of it. Okay, that's kind of cool. I think I prefer the other one. She got the glasses here. But yeah, this, this looks dope, but I definitely prefer the original true damage one. All right. We got High Noon Center. I know someone about to say Little Nas X, so I'm going to say it before you say it. 
but she looks freaking dope this is so cool look at her hat the glowing red eye what she got in that cup i hope it's water stay hydrated it looks hot in that room you said her gun is enormous yeah like i can't even it's off the screen like, i can't even see it <laughs> and i'm just realizing her, is that's her hair i didn't expect her hair to be so long and we got a project skin for senna honestly one of the more unique ones i don't know how i'm feeling about them giving her white hair it looks interesting, but it's not my favorite project skin, that's for sure. Oh, I see the sombra vibes from the project skin. And we got Luna Eclipse Senna. What's this one look like? Oh, damn. Okay, she got her um her eyes covered. The blue hair is kind of interesting here. I think I prefer when they allow her to have like dark hair with like lighter highlights. But she also has a prestige Luna Eclipse skin. Honestly, I'm vibing with this one way better. I'm gonna be honest. It might be because there's purple glow in the hair and with the purple eyes. But this one is fire. I like this one way more than the, the standard Lunar Eclipse. This one's just sick, man. I love this. Oh, all right. This last character has intimidated me for a while. So we're definitely going to need boss music for this one. All right. Well, the final character of this, the Lady of Luminosity, Lux. Apparently, Lux has a ton of skin. So wish me luck. <laughs> Sorceress Lux. This is kind of cute. It's giving me Sabrina the Teenage Witch vibes right now. I actually kind of like the blue on this one. Oh, actually, you know what she reminds me of? You know, in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, there are the, the French girls. She looks like one of those. Spell Thief. Ooh. Yo, she looks kind of cool here, actually, as well. I like this. She looks like she's a part of, like, an adventurer's guild as, like, the thief class. Bro, she got little bottles to keep the spells in. Wait, she's stealing the magic from... What? How does that work? I do like her staff here as well, though. And she got a commando skin as well. Honestly, since these look like early skins, they must have redone these splash screens. Have you guys ever seen the movie Little Soldiers? Why she look straight out of that for? <laughs> Yo, this is an interesting one, dude. This is actually one of the more creative older skins I've seen, I think. She looks like she would fit as a green Power Ranger in like Power Rangers SPD or something. And we got Imperial Lux. Take me to war, Lux. Take me to war. Do what you must. It's actually kind of dope. I don't know why, but it's... You know what it's giving me? It's giving me Star Trek. Now, hear me out. It's something to do with, like, the red collar. And also, her weapon is super futuristic. All right, we got Steel Legion. That's interesting. Is she just a worker here? Or is she a part of, like, some secret rebellion force because that's what it looks like to me i feel like her skins are really cute for some reason you know what i mean all right we got star guardian lux we've seen star guardian lux she looks very cute very pretty in pink we see you super sailor moon i mean we've seen this one from some of the cinematics so it's no surprise to me i like the little twirls going on here though all right elementalist i've heard about elementalist and apparently this is like four skins in one or something and it costs a fortune Wow, it's really pretty, though. It looks like she's getting married. Wow, this is so pretty. I really like the dress, I think. Seven? Ten? How many? Eleven skins in one this is? All right, we got Luna Empress. Oh, my God, this is so pretty. My heart. Look at the outfit. I love her hairstyle and the hair color so much. The little green gem in the pin. I love that. Is that like a wolf or a dragon? What's this supposed to be on the staff here? Dude, this is her prettiest skin. I love this one so much. Pajama Guardian Lux. I must have seen this one a hundred times. There it is. We've seen this one like 50 billion times because we've seen all the Star Guardians already. So this is nothing new to me. All right, she has a Battle Academia skin though. Have I seen this? I haven't. I didn't expect her to have red hair. She got the anime badges. She's such a weeb, dude. <laughs> I'm a weeb too, so. Little orange bow. Orange is my favorite color. You know what she looks? She looks like she belongs in Honkai Impact. She could straight up be in Genshin or Honkai Impact here. But she also has a prestige skin here. Okay, that one's really cute. She got the, the bow in the back, like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I think I might prefer this one. The red hair is giving me vibes of Urza Scarlet more now than anything in the previous one. All right, we got Dark Cosmic Lux. This is the most human-looking cosmic skin I think we've seen. Of course, they had to do that for Lux, right? I like the little pattern on her face, though. Oh, here looking like Naruto with the stripes. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. I don't think this is the best cosmic or dark cosmic or dark star skin at all. Oh, she has a regular cosmic one, too. Oh, she has... They gave her both. She looks so gentle here. Okay, Eden Zero. Is that Mother from Eden Zero? We see you. She's really cute. It's basically the same thing, but it looks like she's kind of like restoring the planet. Space Groove. Okay, this is cute. Why does she look like Cinderella? 
I like how her, uh, her buns here, though. That's that's actually adorable. It looked like she was playing tennis for a sec. I was like, is she playing space tennis? What's going on here? But I, I really love her uh, hairstyle here. She looks like she should be a Cynthia doll. Have you guys seen the Rugrats? You know, Angelica's doll? Or like, she looks like Barbie, something like that. But the actual outfit is super cute. Now I'm saying that, I guess Lux is kind of like League of Legends very own version of Barbie. Porcelain Lux. Have I seen this? Because I remember seeing the porcelain skin trailer. I don't recall this, but I do recognize the weapon. So I must have seen it. Her hairstyle is really cute here as well. She got the year of the rabbit. Cute little bunny going on. And of course, the porcelain design as with the rest of the characters in this skin set. You know what? Her dress kind of looks like flowers on the bottom. I like it. Okay, so the last skin is a prestige porcelain Lux. This kind of feels almost the same. It's just like slightly purple and gold. There's not like a ton more difference here. Hold on, was that bunny rabbit in the scepter before? I think they actually added that on. Oh, okay, it's the, the actual moon they added. All right, I guess that's it for Lux's skins. Man, okay, she didn't have as many as I thought. We've defeated the final boss. We did it. I feel kind of sad that we've caught up with every region, but apparently since I started this, there's 200 extra skins. So if you want me to react to those, let me know and we'll figure it out. Ah, <laughs> oh, guys, guys, guys. It's been a long and arduous journey. The past like a half a year, we reacted to every region's characters and all their skins in League of Legends. Like I said, we got some new ones to react to, but it's been a lot of fun doing this. I'm going to miss it. Every video has been daunting and tough to edit, but I appreciate that you guys have had fun with this. I've been enjoying doing it. And it's making me want to check out skins from different characters and different series. So if you have skins from any video game series you want me to look at and like review and talk about how I feel and spot the references, then let me know, please, because this has been so much fun and I kind of don't want to stop doing it. <laughs> In fact, if you smiled once during this video, it's actually legally binding that you have to subscribe. Otherwise, someone will come and arrest you. It might be the Tooth Fairy. I don't know. Uh, it could be Father Christmas on Christmas. So watch out if you didn't subscribe. You'll see. <laughs>